Hello students at Fanshawe College and welcome to the virtual classroom for Comp 3077 online with Excel 2013. Now you may be visiting this classroom from a traditional live section and that is fine too but you will have to bear with me as there are some things I need to cover specific to my online students and make sure that they've oriented themselves with the course properly. So. Uh, this won't be a long video. I'm just going to make sure that everyone who's watching it knows how to use the virtual classroom and understands that the virtual classroom will never actually specify due dates and specific deadlines and times or anything like that. That will always be an FOL. Every one of my virtual classroom videos will start like this with this standard formatted Excel 2013 slide and then it will go to an informational slide that indicates the week we are in, whether or not the video is required, and the stuff we are going to cover and then I will go ahead and cover that stuff. So in this video because I'm just kind of orienting you to how the videos work I don't actually have the stuff listed. In plain and simple in this video I'm showing you how the course works and then you move on to the next lecture video which breaks down everything in the course. The stuff in the CIS, when your due dates are, that kind of thing. Now if you're in the online classroom I'd like you to take a look at this for yourself because I, you're gonna be missing some of the you know some of the time professors in the in the traditional classroom spend putting into this. So we're going to jump over to FOL and even if you aren't in an online version, uh, if you miss class the first week then you should still take a look at this. So in the online classroom you're automatically going to have a link to the virtual classroom from your course homepage. Now you will have been given this initial link directly from an email because that's how I always start my online sections and then from there every week you can get to it from here. You can always get back to it from there or in course content you can also access the virtual classroom from here and if you're not in an online class that's where you would find the link every week right there. Okay, Your professor may still have the widget up on the homepage with the virtual classroom. Uh, so for my online students I need to refer you to the checklist. Now this is something that those of you in the non-online versions may or may not have. It's at the discretion of your professor. But my online students need to go right to this checklist at the very beginning of the course and you need to make sure that you do these things. So you'll have this same checklist in there and these are the things I want you to review. So all of this is in FOL content. Everything here are simply items in FOL content except for this video that you're watching right now. And that, I'm probably gonna bump that up to the top there. Okay, so this is how your checklist is going to look. Sorry, there's a bit of a blip there. Like that. It should look just like that. I'm able to pause these when I'm recording. I just wanted to make a quick adjustment there. So, number one job, online students, go through these things. If you're not in the online section and you missed your first class, your professor would have already gone over this. Go through these things. Okay, so they are located right back over in content. So you wouldn't go back to the home page, you go right here to content and in the section or module entitled about COMP 3077 all of those things are here. So you need to review these things and if you're using a Mac you should spend a little time reading over this file. So total this, all this stuff going over all this should take you maybe half an hour or so and you should review the course information sheet here. It's all in the checklist. Okay. So take a look at that. Once you do you'll understand exactly how the course works and instead of going to a classroom your weekly lectures that will demonstrate the cases will continue to be posted in the virtual classroom. So if I would go directly there from here, you will see what this looks like and likely by the time you're watching this, this will have populated with more and more videos. I'm just in the process of putting this together for you before the semester starts, so it's a brand new version of it, but uh, 2014 will we'll probably be good with these videos until the next version of Microsoft Office comes out. So. That's how the course works online, and if you're in the traditional classroom, you do have the option to do it this way. Just make sure that you still know you submit your work to SAM. That's done on the SAM platform, and the links to SAM are all going to be in FOL content as well, and you're ready to rock. So from there, I would typically go back here and make sure we covered everything at the end of the video, and then you would be done. So that's your welcome to the virtual classroom video, which was kind of also like a welcome to the course video, and make sure you go into FOL and look at all the necessary documents, which you need to do. Once you do that, you should know what's going on. You should know you need to go buy a SAM key code to start submitting your work. And typically, in the first week, just to give students a little bit of time um, to, to kind of catch on to how the course works, I don't have... I don't have my stuff due in the online section until usually earlier in, in the beginning of week two. 
and then the standard weekly deadline will kick in. And that's the last thing I'm going to show you. Your professors should all set up standard weekly deadlines. And in FOL, I've set up a specific file for this that they can just go and adjust according to their deadlines, and it's right here, weekly deadline details. And I believe that was in your checklist anyway. So cover all that stuff and move on to the next lecture video and enjoy online learning. Just start going through the course. Thanks for watching.